I don't normally do unboxings, but I just got a delivery and I'm really excited about this piece. If, well, it is what I think it is. Lovely. Boom. Oh, ho, ho. isn't that gorgeous? <laughs> well, I'm sure you guys will know what this is for and where this actually goes. So let's build some brackets, get this thing in the truck, see what kind of trouble we can get into. I always found it odd that they don't have panel over there and they do have a panel over here is it because it's protecting the steering arm or not protecting the steering arm what's going on there anybody know leave a comment huh. what the all right so some of these are 5 8 and these are 15 millimeter so what's the deal with that guys <laughs> So the original radi or, uh, condenser on the LMTVs that have air conditioning sits right here. So we're going to take ours, take some measurements out of here and see if we can't build a bracket that hangs off. There's two bolts. There's one there and there's one over here that I think we can actually pull those out if we can get to them build a bracket in there and hold that sucker in here like this. But we gotta keep off with this, so we have to stay higher. I've got plenty of room, it's just, it's gonna be janky for bracketing. Oh man, hopefully that thing never goes bad, jeez. It's gonna suck to get to. I'm gonna turn this truck around because I'm baking in the sun, so. Okay, now we're back onto the truck. Still looking at weird stuff. In with the creeper. Not just the creepy me. Now we went from too much light to not enough light. All right, let's add some more. It's a lot of, I guess it is supposedly a skid plate. Time to bust out the CAD program.
when you're married with your kids. Alright, so the brackets have gone through a little bit of a reiteration. So this is the original bracket that we started off with, but we need that 13 degree angle on there. So then I decided to bend up a couple of pieces to get that 13 degree angle on it. But it creates enough of a gap that it actually pushes it too close to the radiator. Or if I flip it over, it pushes it too far into the uh, skid plate. So <laughs> what I really need is I need it to be in line. So I think what I'm going to do, what I've done is I just bent a chunk at 90 degrees and then I cut a piece to actually mount onto the radiator and then I'll just stick it on there at thir you know, 13 degrees and we'll just weld it up there. The nice part about actually pre-bending some of these brackets as I was messing around with this is it makes a nice little uh, jig that I can just stick on the end of the table <laughs> and then mount my pieces in there and it's holds it at 13 degrees. So let's get to welding. for the girls I go out with. It ain't pretty, but it's on there. Ugh. All right, now we'll just zap that off with the bandsaw and grind her until she looks pretty. And then uh, we'll mount these on the radiator, stick them in there, see exactly where the bolt holes need to be, and then punch them. Well, if you can't weld, you better learn how to grind. This, uh, this is something I probably can't even get by with on fancy editing notice I built two brackets they look good they're two of the same side brackets <laughs> I made two left hand bracket <laughs> I made two driver's side brackets so we're gonna take the better of the two and we're gonna make another bracket So when you want a bracket to be opposite, <laughs> you build a janky bracket holder. <laughs> Fit it and call it good. Let's put some brackets on. Well, number one, let's see how far off we are on these brackets. 
two, no. No. Aha! <laughs> Let's go right side up, shall we? Let's just put a couple of random screws in here. All right. Good enough. Two. To the knuckle, to the knuckle, good enough. Yeah, these are some super beefy brackets for this, but it's the it's the steel I had in the scrap pin. <laughs> okay, so that should be backwards, exactly backwards, exactly the way I wanted it, right? Right? Yeah. There we go. Thing sitting in there. I want it to lean back. That way. Thank you. There we go. Eh. In there. Okay, so now it's sitting in the truck. Like so. We panted away from the radiator. All right, let's go stick it in the truck and see how bad we did. Uh, yeah, that's what I thought. So we are a sixteenth of an inch too long. <laughs> uh, yeah. Uh, so we got twenty-six and seven eighths to center. Pound some holes. Three quarters of an inch from the top. going on in there? Sure you can. Let's see if you can get a uh, better angle. So we got plenty of room between the radiator and the condenser. Once we smash that all the way in there. And we got plenty of room between the condenser and the uh, whatever the turbo bah. Turbo air cooler, thingamajigger, whatever. I'll figure out what the name of that thing is and link it in the description. <laughs> Good. English. Okay. Cool. Well, let's uh, tighten all these bolts up, make sure it fits, and then we'll tear it all out, sandblast those parts, and get them painted and cleaned up. Blast it with the sandblaster, and now we're just going to go ahead and get them painted up. Make them look pretty. Well, there we are. Even a crappy weld looks good with some paint on it. So we'll get this put back together and uh, stuck in the truck and I'm running out of batteries. So. And there's what we look like in, mounted in the truck. From the cell phone without the skid plate on there. Thanks for watching guys. If you like watching an idiot with tools, come on back, like, subscribe, do all the YouTube stuff and we'll see you in the next one. Alright. It took a socket to the frickin' Adam's apple. Ugh.